Cosmic rays are highly energetic, charged particles produced in space by the sun, stars and supernova. Now, while you can't see them, they're travelling at over a million miles per hour and if one was to hit you, it could tear apart your DNA. Luckily, for us here on the surface of the Earth, we've got some protection against them. Our first defence against these cosmic rays is the sun's magnetic field. Now, if this stone represented the sun, then the Earth would be roughly where my finger is, and the pier would represent where Pluto is. Now, the sun's magnetic field stretches all the way out beyond Pluto. So far, in fact, we don't know where its influence ends. The sun's magnetic field protects planet Earth by deflecting these cosmic rays back out into space but some still get through, and when they do, something really interesting happens. The cosmic rays that get through the sun's magnetic field can hit molecules in the Earth's atmosphere, causing them to become charged. These can attract water molecules in the surrounding area. More and more water molecules build up and eventually a cloud is formed. So the next time you see a cloud in the sky, it may have been formed by a cosmic ray. This effect wouldn't be very significant if the amount of cosmic rays hitting the Earth's atmosphere remained constant, but it doesn't. The sun's magnetic field can vary in strength, and when it's very strong, fewer cosmic rays can get through and hit the Earth's atmosphere, meaning that fewer clouds can be formed by cosmic rays. The real challenge for scientists is to try and work out what effect this could be having upon the Earth's climate. <laughs> <laughs> 